The next news is um, a French girl, Mila, said she uh, has no regrets for uh, targeting, for being, for her criticism of Islam. This is written strange. Mm. Um, okay. So a teenager in France has sparked a national debate about blasphemy in France after an Instagram post calling Islam a religion of hate. Mila, 16, posted her comments online after receiving homophobic abuse from a Muslim commenter. She received death threats and has not attended school since. But Mila has refused to back down, saying in her first television interview that she wanted to blaspheme. The country of France has no national blasphemy law and has rigidly secular constitution. Police initially opened two investigations. The first into whether Mila was guilty of hate speech and the second into what? her online attackers. They have since dropped the hate speech case as Mila was expressing a personal opinion on religion and not targeting individuals. On Tuesday, Interior Minister Christophe Kastner told the National Assembly that Mila and her family were under a police protection. So I have a couple things to Wait, say so about this. Before, just to clarify, so she's, she's a singer, right? No, she's a teenager, just a French teenager. She's but I in heard high school. She made a song. Okay, and, and she's she's. You said she was in their homophobic attacks by Muslims because she's gay. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. And also, not just I had heard this actually happened back in January. I think January sixteenth or something like that. And I had heard about it from my friends in France and had read a, quite a bit about it in the French papers, and then it got picked up later. This is becoming um, huge in France. I've, I've been seeing this everywhere, right? And it became huge. Yeah. And I think what happened was she was being attacked and homophobically. And also a lot of sexist things were said to her. Um, and um, I mean, and it's amazing. This. I'm really like proud of her for not backing down. Like people usually, you saw just in the previous news, people, as they say something bad about Islam, the whole world started crashing down on them as you know hateful and they're like the, uh, the apology letter just comes really because it's just so intimate like at first uh, and even a lot of people that don't think that they're going to back down you have no idea the wave of things that comes at you and the amount of threats and the amount of legal stuff and the police and then uh, online harassment like a lot of people just back down and be like okay Apology letter. Well, how many apology? Like, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean it. I love Muslims. And she, but she's just a sixteen-year-old girl. She's like, no, like, I'm, I'm not backing down. She's like doubling well, down she, on it. She kind of did. If, if that's your definition oh. of backing down a little she bit, she did apologize, she did apologize for, for her comments. Um, if it offended non-hateful Muslims. Okay, but did she apologize for saying it? Um. She apologized if it hurt anybody's feelings who was who practiced who practiced peaceful Islam. But she's also saying no regrets. Right. So you can't apologize for those who practice peaceful Islam mm. if you're saying Islam is a bad religion, right? Like I don't know. In the French paper they also I some of the French chefs they said she apologized for her vulgarity. Too, mm -hmm. was another thing. She was sorry yeah, she used vulgar language. But I want to read her Use vulgar statement. language. The only reason why, guys, but the only reason why we don't use vulgar language is not because we're like these Puritans or anything like that. It's because YouTube doesn't let us, okay? I don't, but I don't agree with people that think swearing is bad. Swearing is good. It's healthy, okay? Get it out of your system, okay? Swearing is great. And don't apologize for vulgarity. Use it whenever you want. We, we, we just, Maybe YouTube doesn't know the French words for SH, the SH word. No, YouTube but, knows. Um, so her YouTube original God, statement was, I hate religion. It is nothing but hate in the Quran. Right. And then she said, Islam is the S-H-I-T word. Yes, That's it is. That's what I think. Good. There are still people who will get offended, and I clearly don't give a D-A-M-N. I am not a racist. You cannot be racist toward a religion. I said what I thought, and you're not going to make me regret it. Yes. I say what I want and I what I think. 
Yes, thank you, thank you. My God, she has, she's only sixteen, and she's like, that's great. Okay, so she also said when she went on TV in France, she said, defending herself, and what she said, you know, I have not insulted anyone, nor threatened anyone, nor called for violence against anyone. All I did was what I did rather was blasphemy and a general criticism of religions and nothing else. Yeah, and a lot of people point out that they're investigating yeah. the threats against her now. Yes, I'm actually a little bit sad that there was even an uh, like even like the police were investigating the threats against her, but they also investigated her for hate speech. That's right? ri that's ridiculous. Like I'm glad they dropped it, but even the suggestion of that this being hate speech was ridiculous, just to be, even to begin with, right? But um, you know, a lot of people are pointing out that you know she she's against all religion, not just Islam, which is true. She is, but it's so sad that that you have to point that out. Like if somebody comes out against Christianity. Nobody, like, not that many people will come at you and like, why are you focusing on Christianity? Why, do you have, not have a problem with Islam? Do you have no pro a problem with Hinduism? People are like, yeah, 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 Christianity bad. Like, yeah, yeah, we agree. But if you talk about Islam, then you have to, people make you clarify that, okay, I'm against all religions, not just Islam. Why that clarification is needed when you talk about Islam, but that clarification is not needed when you're talking about Christianity. This is the pr special privilege that Islam has among all other religions. Well, it also, not only that, like, not only the special privilege, but the fact that no one took these death threats and rape threats very seriously in the first place, because when it immediately happened, the principal just said, well, just don't come to school tomorrow for your, your own safety. So it's almost as if he was like, well, you know how those Muslims are, so just stay home which I thought was gross, but now she's under police protection mm. and um, there's been, there were, it was huge in France. They had the Je suis Mila, which means I am Mila. And then a lot of offended people responded with their own hashtag, Je ne suis pas Mila, I am not Mila. So that was going on back and forth. And then, uh, Justice Minister waded into the conflict and she said that um, the death threats were unacceptable and this was basically an attack of freedom of conscience. But then people attacked her for saying that. What? And then, so for she, saying that death threats are unacceptable? That's, that's, okay, well. No, for saying that, no, for saying that it was um, uh, an attack on freedom of conscience. So she uh. had to clarify her statement exactly like what you're talking about. Uh. And so when she clarified it, she said, well, it's one can criticize religion, but one cannot incite hatred. Yes, she you can. Said, I hate religion. She, Easy. She said that how she said it was clumsy. And no. then she later said, I should not have said it. What? Yep. Well, you have to be apparently. Uh, no, I hate religion. Religion needs to die. See, I don't. Ha you don't have to be very academic. Uh, uh, you could be like, if you say like, oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like this ideology. People don't care. But as soon as it comes about Islam, you have to be so academic. You have to be so careful. You have to be like, you know, I don't like Islam, but that's because I don't like all religions. I respect Muslims. I don't want to take anyone's right away. I hate the bigots. You don't have to do that with anything else. But with Islam, you just have to be so careful. And you have to like word it perfectly and you just have to get like a maybe a couple of other people to come read it before you send it out no you know <laughs> f islam f islam islam is the disease a disease a disease that needs to die okay right no clumsy I, make it clumsy okay make it clumsy so that islam doesn't enjoy the privilege that it has oh it gets uh, worse oh. so segaline royale who is um the former environment minister and she was the socialist um candidate for president said, well, while she defended her right to criticize religion, she said that Mila should have shown more respect. No! Manner. No! And this is the part that gets me weird. That's weird. Knowledge. Knowledge of what? No, you don't need... Okay, guys. Anybody that says you that you, tells you that you don't have enough knowledge to say Islam is a disease, that it's nonsense, that it needs to end... Tell them, how much knowledge do I need to know that a, a man cannot go on a 
freaking horse and go to the heavens and cut the moon in half with the swords. How much knowledge do I need for that? How much knowledge do I need to know that wife beating is bad, that taking slaves is bad, that killing mm, unbelie unbelievers is bad? Like how many years of studying of Islam, how much of a scholar do I need to be? Yeah. It's pretty simple, guys. You don't need to be an ex-Muslim like me to notice that this is all horse shit but you just you, you you just need half a day no not half a day one hour of research in islam is enough for you to notice that this is all crap okay that's all you need um let me just see what the top comment is top comment is by andrew he's saying and i actually disagree with this andrew's saying and in sending death threats to her they are clearly proving her right i don't think they understand the concept of irony that sounds pretty good, but it's wrong. I'll tell you why it's wrong. Islam could be the greatest thing ever and bad, have bad followers, right? So if Muslims are bad, that doesn't necessarily mean Islam is bad. Islam is bad because, read the Quran, okay? Because Islam could have good followers or bad followers, right? It could be, uh, Muslims could be the most horrible people in the world and Islam could be a good thing. Or Muslims could be the best people in the world and Islam could be a bad thing. Right? You judge the teachings of Islam by reading the teachings of Islam. And you, even, if, even if not a single Muslim has heard any, a, a fly, and they have never had slaves, and they have never beaten their wives, and not a single Muslim follows any of their rulings, if Islam teaches you to do those things, even if Muslims don't follow it, Islam is still bad, okay? So, don't say like, oh, these people are sending death threats, therefore they're proving her point. No! The only way you can see her point is right or not, whether Islam is good or not, is by reading the Quran. When you read the Quran, like, holy crap, this book is nonsense and this is violent and all of that, right? That's how you know Islam is bad. Anyways, we spent so much time on this one. Uh, well, I wanted to say one more thing. I think this whole thing was exacerbated and made worse because it came like became like a left and right thing. Because um, Marine Le Pen you know, tweeted in support of this woman, this young girl saying that she had more courage than all of these politicians in France. And so all of a sudden then Oof. it became this, oh, the right wing loves this girl, so we have to yeah. hate her. Yeah, this is such, such nonsense. Just because you don't, you can't control the, who supports you, right? You're like, mm -hmm. I, I have that problem. Like, sometimes when I talk not, not, uh, talk about Islam and tell you how, like, how horrible it is, I get some bigots that were like, oh, yeah, we like what this guy is saying. I can, what am I going to do? Like, I call them out and I'm like, well, I don't like these guys. But, but then people are like, look, look who, look who uh, supporting what Armin is saying. Well, how, how am I going to stop them from not, you know, all I can do is constantly point out the fact that I don't agree with them. But even that does not help. People always point out who likes you. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Mar I, I'm not saying Marie Le Pen is right or wrong. That's a different topic. I haven't actually done much research into her. People say she's horrible. I have to do my own research. A Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.